So now we're going to add, because we're greedy, we're going to add not only do we want to be able to surf the relational dynamics, but for me, the word collective insight, and maybe then we can talk about your thesis. Because you, you, it was the first time I've seen someone say some of these things like this. And, and, and I have to admit, I feel that it's a greed, greedy position. So now we're not only going to be able to surf these complex relational dynamics, but we're going to say, we want to put this in service to something, right? Mm -hmm. So I call it to in, insight. So we might all want to have an insight about something or, you know, um, create a new imaginary. It doesn't have to solve a problem. And, and for me, at this level, solving problems, they really, when you get on the other side, they dissolve. They don't really solve. Yeah, so solve, solve, so maybe yeah. you could talk about that and whether or not you were interested in that in your thesis or not. Oh, man. <laughs> One of the things that's so difficult about this, I think, and we've come up against it a bunch of times, but but you know, from the the in in, in this sort of mind of fullness, right, where everything is connecting with everything else, right? It's very difficult to pick which thread it is that you want to start talking on because we're still talking in a linear way, right? You you, you could have a transcript of this call. Your our experience of it isn't linear, right? right. The, the 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 reality behind it or the pheno the, the, the phenomenon behind it is not linear, but the but that that in itself can be linear. So so let me just say that because there's a lot there's a lot in that question. Um, I think. I think the question of motivation is really central, um, and it's central not just because we want to put something in, in service of it, but because our motivations uh, have so much to do with what our identities are and what we think uh, is real, right? And so this is what, um, you know, when, when I say, when I use the term subtle, a lot of what I'm talking about is uh, these personality, you know, these personality-based um, motivations. and interpretations of what is reality, right? And so, um, so it's not that we want to, it's not that we want to put it in service of something, it's that by, by picking a motivation, um, we are, we are, we're like, a, there's like a whetstone, we're rubbing ourselves against this, we all get together and we agree, yeah, this is what we want to do. And then as we do that, we find out, oh, well, we have these other motivations, and they can be, you know, they can be uh, beautiful motivations, and they can be uh, base motivations, and they're going to be both, right? I'm, I'm going to come to this circle, and I'm going to have some needs, you know, some really fundamental psychological needs that are unmet because I'm a human being, you know, and I'm going to come to the circle, and I'm going to say, no, I want to, you know, I want to do this exalted thing, but actually what I really want to do is I want somebody to tell me that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, right? Or, or like I'm funny or I'm lovable or whatever it is, right? And um, so that's one thing. And then so as we are looking at these motivations is, and as we start to dissolve, I like, I, I have that same exact sense of the of solution, you know, the, the dissolution are really uh, more synonyms than they are uh, antonyms. And, um, as we begin to dissolve the motivations that we have that are unconscious, then this other motivation starts to arise, right? And we can uh, we can state it, we can say what it is, right? We can we can look at it, we can sort of move towards it, but it's going to continually arise, and 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 if it doesn't continue, it's going to continually arise spontaneously, or some other motivation is going to continually arise spontaneously, and then that becomes the thread, right? That right. becomes the thing that we're going. Um, so. Uh, you know, it might actually, whoop, hold on, my computer's running out of batteries. Nope. There we go. Um, so, I mean, that might be, um, you know, that might be, that might be an interesting place for us to pivot here. Like, what, you know, what are, what are the motivations that we're bringing to this call right now? Like, why are we doing this here? Because mm -hmm. I think that that inquiry is always going to be a a a a. Um, it's going to be a fruitful one. It's going to be an uh, 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 it's going to be a, a rabbit hole. You know, 
yeah. it's going to bring the conversation to a different place. Yeah, I think just we can answer that question, but just that last little thing you said, that's something that, that I've been noticing is that that these other things, like you get you get involved in this motivation and then really what I want to talk about is why do I feel unvalidated? Yeah. I don't think those are distractions. I think there's a genius to the pattern, right? The, yeah. the, the kelp is waving a certain way. Yeah. And in that moment, that's the direction if we're going to speak in linear terms, right? Yeah. So li that is that is the non-linearity of it, but it is the way, you know, it's like doing one of those video games where if you think linearly, you're not going to take a right. And yeah. the stuff, you know, so you start to get a sense, a different intuitive sense of this, this, I hate to call it a pattern because a pattern sounds like something that just keeps going over and over. But the genius, there's like a genius in the dynamics themselves. Yeah. And what, once you get a taste for that, then you get more and more trust. Yeah. And the more trust, the more choice you make in that direction. And then it starts to, you know, uh, build on itself. But yeah. the motivation for this call, I mean, the motivation for this whole interest in mine is that I feel that I don't know, I don't feel that I know much about this work. I haven't, um, and I really want to, um, I want to learn more, you know, I'm very curious about it in, in what has, what, what other people have done, what is possible, what is not possible. Um, I tend to be able to sit with chaos so I like I like it even when <laughs> there's a lot of chaos it's very interesting too so um, yeah I just I just I just um curious I just like yeah how about you <laughs> Um, yeah, so I guess, you know, on a surface level, there's, uh, you know, so I just, I wrote this, I wrote this thesis and I'm interested in, um, you know, furthering, I'm interested in furthering this and, and, and that's, you know, for me, I also feel like I'm, I'm not, um, you know, I'm a researcher. I'm I'm an investigator in in this mode, at least. I don't consider myself to be that in a lot of places, but, um, and and that curiosity is also, you know, there's there's a there's a there's a dual motion there. The curiosity is not just like I'm uh, there's there's this thing that I'm curious about, but it's like there's a I, I'm curious about uh, an intuition, you know, and and as I follow that intuition I get more curious about that intuition and it continues to it continues to pull me along and so I, I think you know um, I am I wish I could be there that's another thing actually like I really wish that I could be there at, what, at your place um, in November that would be it actually turns out I'll be able to be in the United States I just got my residency card for Belgium but my brother's wedding is actually that same weekend so I'm not I'm still not going to be able to be there but um, just bring the wedding into the circle <laughs> right I know that would be that would be, <laughs> be awesomer I don't have enough people to hold that wedding but um, uh, you know I, I yeah, yeah it, it's 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 uh, <clears throat> it's life sustaining it's it's food it's nourishment like talking with you is going to be one w without a doubt one of the um, you know one of the two or three Three highlights of my week, and in in a certain sense, I mean, like one of the highlights of my week is also every time I see my baby or yeah, every yeah. Time I see my wife. Like that's magical, with a slightly different thing. Um, so I'm I'm motivated right now by like, you know, like I said, I think this is a long game, and I'm motivated to really begin to 
explore your relationship with me and you know what what it is where the resonance is between the two of us um, but I'm also interested in you know in 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 what the other thing that is happening right now because there are going to be other people who are watching this is sort of I'm 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 throwing out my um, I'm throwing out my tendrils or my tentacles, you know, and people are going to watch this and that forms a connection. And then that connection can be strengthened. That connection can inform actually what it is that I'm doing. That's very important. Yeah. Like not everything, you know, I'm sure because I know myself, I'm sure that I've said two or three things so far that I will probably regret later because it's going to cost a lot of explanation. It's not actually <laughs> exactly what I meant. Right. Or, or, you know, um, uh, I think, I think you can't but be curious about this work. I mean, I think there are people who are really skilled at it, and we're still at like step one of this gigantic, yeah. you know, path that we don't even, you know, we may find we're going to find ourselves back here again a million different times. Like, we, there's the path isn't even a straight path. It's not yeah. a place that's going anywhere necessarily, right? We're not, we're not, we're, we're we're just very dimly becoming aware of this, and I think the possibilities for that are astounding. And and I wouldn't, you know, this of, of all the things that I have touched upon in my life, like this is the thing that's like, whoa, this yeah. there's something happening here that is crazy. That's that's my that's I guess my motivation probably for being here right now. That's part of it at least. I don't know if you can ever fully uncover it in that way, but well, yeah. you know, there's a sense of it's where the action is. You know, when kids like to hang out in the street and they're walking, and then all of a sudden there's like you can feel it, right? You can hear. You got. You got to go that way because you can yeah. feel. It's. It's as intuitive as that. I think for yeah. for our community. And as and as obvious too. Like it's it's just you know when you say intuitive, you know the kids aren't intuiting something happening over there. They're just right, like oh right. something happening yeah. over there. The, go over yeah. There. In this, you know, and I, I need to give myself to this, and on, on whatever. I mean, like, what kids aren't saying that verbatim, but you know what I mean. Like, I gotta go see what's going on over there because there's a bunch yeah. of people and they're doing something really cool. And I think that resonated through, uh, you know, the, the the interviews that I did for my thesis. Not one person, not one person, was missing from. You know, the, they may have said it differently, but it was basically like, you know, the first time I tapped into this, it totally changed everything for me. The first time that I that I that I recognized or saw that this was a possibility, it absolutely and completely changed my life. And, and that, I, I think that's um, not only true for me, but every time that I, you know, every, every layer of the onion that I unpeel, you know, the, the first time that I even, you know, um, when was it, like four or five years ago, I was just doing, uh, you know, this exercise with a group of people at, for my master's program. Is the first time we met each other. And... Uh, and we were in this really profoundly beautiful space with each other and, you know, doing sort of the, you know, postmodern new age, like interpersonal stuff and, and like, oh, people are crying and it's like really touching and beautiful. And I just, and it was like, oh my God, that's a person. There's a, there's a person there sitting next to me and I've never seen one before, but I've heard of them, you know, and, and it was this discovery and, and that discovery of what is possible when when you bring people together, you know, and start to systematically investigate and dissolve the assumptions that you're bringing to the table, uh, is 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 so creative. It's so generative. Um, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, that whole I I. I um... I think this work is going to answer or insight a lot of, create a lot of insight. That whole, that's an insight right there, you know, that is a person. And then now we can completely deconstruct that experience, but, um, which, which I've been known to do. But, the, like, like, from a certain perspective, like my perspective is, you walk around, I walk around and from a certain perspective you see that all everyone you know like the way we're feeling here everything is always falling in relationship with everything else right this to me is 
kind of obvious. It could be overwhelming. And then, and then we walk around and everyone's looking for community. And so this work, I think, ha has a lot to insight about that. And so when you say, all of a sudden, I realize there's a person there. Yeah. And at some point, someone will write a book about why there was a person and then there wasn't a person and then why, why there is a person, right? So, um, so that's a curious question. Why is it? Why is it that at our state, you know, that people can have those experiences? You know, why is it that you, it's not so that, it comes as being like rare that you had that experience, but the real question is, yeah, why, why is it, why, exactly, rare. Yeah. why yeah. was the before, the, sure. you know, yeah. that becomes. But, oh, that's a great question too. What was the before is you sort of lose the sense, you lose the sense of, you just know something's happened, you know something's different and that was a good thing, but you're yeah. not sure how you could possibly have seen someone else, you know, and, and you know, in, in, in the past, how did I look at people and not see them as people? I, I don't, that question is actually, I don't think so hard because I still look at people as not people. I still, I still cognize people in my life, uh, you know, day to day in ways that are not, you know, second person. I do this with the people who are closest to me. And, and, and as I live, I'm constantly unearthing those ways of, oh, you know, I'm, I'm actually relating in a very instrumental way to this person in front of me right now, I'm trying to get something out of this object in my life at this moment, and it's either giving it to me or it's not giving it to yeah, me. Yeah. And my reaction to it, giving it to me or not, is is either you know is frustrating or like yes, I feel like I'm king of you know shit mountain or whatever it is. But um, yeah, I, I uh, and 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 really, I think I think some of the things that we're coming to and that start to become so obvious in these groups, the, the, the kinds of, uh, you know, the emptiness of, of boundaries, the emptiness of these fundamental lines with which we sort of locate where reality is, uh, you know, my sense of being me, and that that meanness is one, is, you know, a real thing that is independently real. It's not, you know, dependent on everything else around it, what have you. Um, in the sense that, you know, we're radically consciousness, you know, playing and experimenting and, and learning about itself and discovering itself constantly and over and over those things, I have the feeling that it's possible for a human society to live with those things as being, you know, basic and found foundational, fundamental uh, experiences. I won't say assumptions, but, you know, right. ways you actually interact with people because it is so natural, too. I mean, you get you get there and it's you know, you, you might think something about it, you think something about the practice, you think something that's going to happen, and yet if you're really open to receive what is in front of you moment to moment as it's going on, something else is going to arise, and that thing is going to both be surprising and amazing and, 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 and totally natural and totally obvious. And that's, that's uh, so I'm with you. I, 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 yeah. I don't understand how, it's hard for me to remember that, you know, 99.99% of the people in the planet who are, who might be watching, you know, let's say out of context, things that you and I are saying would have absolutely no idea what the hell we're talking about. Yeah. Not all, no referent in their experience for what it is to be yeah. in a field of consciousness with another person. And, and, and yet when you start to do that with people or, or even not with people, I mean, even when you do it, you know, when I, when I'm out walking in the street and I, and I'm tuning into people that I'm, you know, walking next to or walking with, like, that's just, that's natural. That's not, that's not, and it's, and it's there, and it's just there to be uncovered. It's just sitting there in your experience already in a certain way. In a certain way. You, you, a way. <laughs> I, I've looked at this, and I think that, yes, when you have the experience, it comes home to you as, like, so foundational and so natural. But I've had the opposite experience, too. I, I, I was watching couple of years ago I was looking art and I think it's from Peter Bruegel the elder it might not be him but there's this this yeah. this painting of him of a man a farmer in a field and his wife and their baby 
and they are in relational space and they're praying and it's and you know there's some kind of like light coming down that and I had this I and I realized or it came to me this this idea that they were not in interpersonal space they were coming from the earth and going to God that 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 the spiritual impulse was there before the interpersonal impulse and then I started to see this everywhere so so for example um, this notion we're going to talk about this with it, like in Qigong and I, I just had this conversation the other day that you could go from the personal have a spiritual realization that tapped in the causal without going through the intersubjective Absolutely, so yeah. I think this is truly emergent I think that 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 this whole other level of being and being conscious it feels like a coming home when you come home to it, but yeah. but if you look, it doesn't. You know, there there is. It's, it's both. It's both of those. It's it's both of those at once, and that's yeah. one of the that's so damnably frustrating about talking about it. But it's also there's there's actually a really I think a really fundamental point in that, which is that there's no, you know, there is there is no there's no there's no fundamental mutually exclusive uh, difference between. Some, that something can be discovered and that it was already there implicitly. You know, those are there. There are these foundational ways in which we we you know take the world which is in front of us and and put it on one side of the room or one yeah. side or the other. Yeah. But that's an activity. That's something that we're doing. And and what we're doing in we space is being shown through each other how we do that. And and then yeah. continually bringing that forth so that we can look at it and realize, oh, this is an activity, and I can do something else with it. I can play with this activity. I can do it in a different way, right? I can I can I can put it to use here. I can put it to use there, or I can drop it entirely if it's not serving me. I, I can't drop the mechanism entirely, but may, you know, this one particular way that I might be making meaning might be really shitty. It might be really bad in my life, and and I can actually. You know, it doesn't usually just happen like I can just drop it, but I can. I I'm doing it, and so I can stop doing it. You know, it's like I I you know when you when you have a muscle that's tense, and then you realize like oh, oh I I just have been doing that for 20 years, but I don't have to because it's a skeletal muscle. Like I can just let it go. Yeah. That's 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 a that's a really basic thing that I think is is is. And it's happening in interpersonal spaces because so much of our boundaries are created interpersonally yeah. in a way that is, I think, much uh, more fluid than when you are than when you're sitting on your pillow by yourself. And I, I'm not to denigrate meditation at all. Right. I, I'm, you know, I meditate, and I've been a uh, ardent meditator for many, many years. But, but um, you know, when you're, it's hard to, it's, it's much easier to see. Uh, something that you're doing when somebody can point it out to you and they don't even have to be conscious about pointing it out to you they can just be a jerk and if they're being a jerk you know I feel like they're a jerk right? or they can be super duper yeah way, yeah yeah no I understand why, why am I so pissed at this guy I've never even talked to him right he's got this stupid looking face and blah 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 and and, and you know in, in when I'm really intentional about it when I'm really when I'm really uh, 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 um, earnest, when I'm yeah. earnest at work, then I'm going to start looking at that. I'm going to say, oh, you know, I, that guy is not objectively a jerk. I'm just, I don't like him because of this other thing that I'm yeah. doing over here, and I don't have to do that. And actually, me doing this here is the same thing that I do at work with that other guy, and that's why I got, you know, that demotion the other week, and I don't know. <laughs> well, I think this is why people you know, call it sacred work and spiritual work because when you receive knowledge that makes you feel like it's always been the case, that they're ultimate causes, then then this this has always been the taste of sacred work. That, you know, you you come home and notice it for the first time. This is um ha the iterative process, right? So when you first discover subtle energy, you feel like it's you discovered it when you were 12 years old, but you feel like it's always been there, and it's this this recursive thing that happens with time. I think always creates 
is when we use that word you know yeah. you have a ontological encounter with god you may have gone through school and talked about god but you have and then even though that happened when you were 22 you know that that's always it's always been forever and and i th you know i think that's a good description of why people are calling it sacred or spiritual work which i would agree you know i would agree with that yeah yeah um i just wanted to if if it's okay if i get a little linear right now yeah, um good. i wanted to and let and and let, we could continue but i wanted to maybe um build a little space around your work specifically in the thesis i want to give people an idea of um well first of all i hope they read it <laughs> because i, I think i think it's really important and i i love the way you incorporated all these other voices and the nuances like the the, the there, there was a sameness and a multiplicity of voices in those interviews which which i thought was awesome and yeah. you know and then your first person accounts were even awesomer <laughs> um, i love it how did you pick that up <laughs> <laughs> um so i first i wanted to see if you had like a little um key pieces that you wanted to make um explicit in terms of your relationship now with your thesis maybe you know um oh that's interesting um well i think you know there's a couple things like um it's interesting you know the idea the idea of have writing a thesis and the idea of like knowledge you know this this very uh, academic way of knowledge generation right which i i kind of sometimes hew to and then kind of have to leave the the the, the foundation or the what is it called um uh reservation i have to hang off the reservation sometimes with that um is is just some, is something that's really interesting and unfortunately and unfortunately so because um you know we kind of like <laughs> we kind of we kind of have this idea of competency um, that can get in the way of either seeing yourself or seeing somebody else. And so I, I think the first thing I would really want to make explicit is that, um, you know, I've, I've done a lot of this. I have thought about this for a long time. I have worked in this. I have worked, I have, I've done a lot of thinking in the de different, you know, uh, related areas, consciousness, meditation, you know, just relational dynamics uh, as such, you know, uh, philosophical questions of what is real, how do we know what is real, these kinds of things. Uh, and yet at the same time, you know, all of that knowledge is, has got to be put into practice moment to moment to moment. It doesn't do me any good sitting on a page. And so um, why I bring this up is because, you know, I wrote that thesis now um, four or five months ago, and I wouldn't change anything drastically at this point. Um, I, I, I just re I read it again recently for the first time uh, when I started sending it out to people. Um, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it. I stand behind it. And, and at the same time, that, you know, that's a, that's a jumping off place that has got to be constantly iterated, constantly iterated, constantly iterated. I've come up with this sort of, you know, meta view of how a number of different people who are really experienced in this work think about it but again that's gonna change as we keep engaging in this way with each other and um, and I think that's really important I, I, I really obviously because I've, I don't think there's anything else that I can even think of that I would be important to explicitly like get out of the way mm -hmm. at the beginning it's really important to make that clear um, and I think I do that in the thesis as well uh, and I guess actually something else which came up into my head is um, the difference between, and, and there are there are several different there are several different very related themes or things I could say, but the difference between like having a having a destination and having a way to get there, um, and. Even to say, even even to say linguistically, a way to get there, there is no there, right? Mm -hmm. We're we are 
very much in this together and we have to figure out how, you know, where it is that we want to go. And um, one of the, I'm, I'm proud of myself for this, one of the phrases that I love is in the beginning in the introduction is like, uh, you know, we, we, um, we don't know where we're going, but we don't want to go there. <laughs> and, you know, we're not going to go to, we're, 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 we are, we've gotten to the point where we're not going to go somewhere really nice as a human species, and we're all going to go there together unless we can get together all together and figure out where it is that we do actually want to go. What is what is the the potential of of our human race of our of our global human being at this moment in time? And I think that the way to do that has got something to do with these intersubjective practices in these spaces, and that's really the key. That's the central point of the yeah. whole. Of the whole thing, I may be grossly wrong about ninety percent of what I'm saying, but that that is going to come up. And if we don't, if we're not able to engage with each other, you know, transparently and 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 vulnerably and intimately, um, and 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 really and authentically, um, you know, then we're we're in a shitstorm. We're already in a shitstorm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're there. We got that part. We did that part already. We're in the. <laughs> We're in the we're in the hurricane. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We don't have to we don't have to keep uh, we don't yeah. have to keep picking things up. But if we want it to be unmocked, which is a question in itself, if we want it to be unmocked, then we right. we got to figure out new ways of talking to each other. Yeah. Oh, that's that's good. You know, um, um, I probably lost my thought. Like for me, the future scenarios are. A great attraction you know in terms of like we don't know I, I agree with you we don't know what we're doing it's all a surprise that's part of what is actually interesting about the practice to be in this space of that's not mediated by media can't be mediated yet we can't go out and read the you know the performance handbook on it and come up with a lot of of projections yet yeah. <laughs> um, but part of for me, the vision is that when we, when it becomes more ordinary, you, you know, you think about children, a, lo a lot, you know, a lot of the obstacles is that for our generation, or certainly for my generation, it gets easier, it's easier for you, though, no. um, is that there's a bootstrapping thing that we're going through, right? Our language fails us, our our structures fail us. But if 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 so, I don't think it's, you know, like you said, it's a long game, right? And the idea is to be able. The vision I have is to be able to take this work out of, you know, continue to do the experiment, but as 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 seamlessly as possible to take it out of the experimental phase and move it into practice so that so that you, you know education is being transformed in this country but something weird is going on in my opinion you know machines the reason why they can have MOOCs is because machines take care of all our information and our knowledge right now and so for me that's not really an exciting transformation because we're still teaching the same stuff you know, we're still yeah. cramming that stuff into kids' heads. But what if we taught capacities instead? What if what if what education was was collective insight in the classroom? And that might mean we go and we tap into this information here or we go and, and so for me then this whole bootstrapping problem gets overturned because people are born into the practice it becomes tacit knowledge yeah. and then I think that's when it actually becomes what it, it, it isn't instrumentalized because it is who they are and becomes part of the rolling transformation of human possibility so for me and I don't think that that's necessarily that move itself is that necessarily that long long far away I, I I truly don't you know yeah yeah no it's 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 um uh Steph and Martineau says something that I I'm pretty sure that I include in there which is that um you know he 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 I think basically has the viewpoint that you know our our lifetimes are 
um, and he's a, he's a little younger than you, a little older than me. Our lifetimes are are preparatory, basically setting up the stage so that that is happening. You know, so that yeah. you don't have. Um, and, and and you know, and I've said this. This is one of my favorite favorite things. I think like dynamics that you know every generation has problems, and they and in 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 working through those problems and dissolving those problems, they generate a set of tools, and then they very proudly and with great fanfare hand those tools off to the next generation. And the next generation gets those tools and looks at them and says, "What the hell are these for? We don't we don't have these problems anymore. We have these problems over here." Yeah. So you know, I, I think I think what um, the orientation that he has, what it sounds like the orientation you have too, and then it's one that I have, is that, you know, we're setting the ground so that, you know, a generation can be raised that is aware of and really practicing and participating with these kinds of, of dynamics. Yeah. There's there's something to be said about that as well and, and what, um, you know, what the possibilities of that are because there are certain things that are really developmentally required to be able yeah. to hold space of this magnitude. But I think that's a that's a that's a slightly different and less interesting conversation at the moment. Um, so so what Stephen Martin has said though is finally is uh, you know um, the mathematics we space changes the mathematics of all of this very much and and I think I think that's there's something you know a, a, a secondary topic and this was really um, it's 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 sneaky, and it's not really as secondary as it looks. But the secondary topic is what happens to humanity when a certain percentage of people begin to cleanly disidentify themselves from their um, you know personality-based motivational patterns, mm -hmm. and um, and I have a feeling. You know, and I think a lot of people have this sense, and, and, and you know, you can talk about where exactly that happens in your own personal development, yada, 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 but my sense of it is that, you know, things change really quickly because you're now no longer fighting. You're not, you're, you're essentially, right. not, you're not pushing off of reality anymore. And when you're not pushing off of reality, when you're able to open to the entirety of it, um, or at least the entirety of it that is present in your consciousness, right, um, then you know, not only is your life different, but your intersection with other people's lives is very different. And, and you know, all it takes, um, you know, I, 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 if you've been in any of these spaces that have really, um, you know, kind of taken off, like, it, 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 it's, a, it's the simplest thing. It just takes the, basically like the recognition of everybody in the room that they're doing this right now. You know, that, that yes, we're in this, we got it, we're in this together, we're doing it right now. That's really hard to do in a room of 25 people. It's really hard to do yeah. in a room of 50 people. But as we're getting used to being able to do that, yeah, I think it, it becomes, um, you know, it becomes scalable and in an exponential sense. I mean, in the sort of Moore's Law sense, in the, in the Ray Kurzweil sense, where 1% yeah. is not 1 out of 100. It's not 1% of the way there. Once you've got 1% of the task done, you're two steps away from it. Because yeah. you just have to, you have to go from one percent to ten percent, and then you go ten percent to one hundred percent, and those are actually two steps. That's not, that's yeah. not a hundred more steps to take. Um, so yeah, I have no idea what that looks like, but that's why I'm doing this too. Like, I want to know what it looks like. I want to see this happen, and I, know, and and I think, and I agree with you too. I think, I think there are a, a, a few different things going on. So I, I kind of higher levels. You know, people who are really coming together in a way that they, 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 with that sort of trust that you mentioned at the beginning, where that trust can be, uh, it doesn't have to be built up, but it actually can just be given by recognition. Um, in those spaces, something has happened, which is, you know, we're, we're learning how to more and more quickly at least tune into uh, a field of awareness with each other, a field of interpersonality with each other. Um, and then... The other thing that's really important that I think when you said practical, I think this is what you mean, so correct me if you're wrong, but, but those people are starting to, you know, not with each other, but with everybody else, you know, come up with the ways in which people can participate with each other in this kind of generative space, uh, even without that sort of, you know, quote unquote, spiritual practice or that, that, that um, you know, developmental ability. Uh, whatever it is, and and that's also something that I'm very, uh, I'm really fascinated in. You know, how do we get together and do and do things? Um, not to put an emphasis on the doing, but doing things from this, like you know, hey, we're all here together. What is it that we want to do? What is our motivation right now? Yeah. 
together to do here? Why are we in this room together? Why are we in this class together? You know, why are we in this family together? Why are we, why are we friends with each other? What is it that we're doing here? You know? Right. Yeah. It to, and to, to have it inform the ordinary to become ordinary, you know, and I don't mean that in a, a negative way. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, so there's a tendency for these kinds of things sometimes to become insular and, um, um, you know, just in terms of individual practice, individual spiritual practice has had to go through those phases of being very insular and closed doors and, and um, I was going to say monogamous, you know, but that's not the right metaphor. And, and then it, it, it's taken quite a while to have this become more participatory and, and um, more out into the world. And so this is, this is not a uh, quote unquote mistake that I would want to happen with this work. This, you know, I mean, as, as, as quickly and seamlessly to integrate it. And I'm getting a uh, bandwidth warning here. But I think that the, you know, and I, I just want to address the um, developmental level uh, aspect of this and, and, and tie it into something you said earlier and, and the, the, the concept of Stephen saying, Stefan saying that the math it changes. And so I think that, that, um, you can imagine us talking 300 years ago and talking about, oh, you know, you need to be at a certain developmental level to use an abstract Turing machine. And yet yeah. we don't anymore. And so, so I think that also is something that, that turns itself over. Mm-hmm. And what becomes yeah. develop, post-formal for us becomes conventional. And then there's that rolling, that rolling thing. So, so yeah. um, even though that's appropriate now, as we look at this work right now, I, 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 you know, my intuition is to not get, get stuck there on the developmental yeah. oh, aspect. Absolutely. I, I think, and I, I don't think I've ever, um, I don't think I've ever seen this anywhere, or I don't think I've ever talked with anybody who thinks this necessarily. But my my sense of it is that, you know, we're 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 with these developmental aptitudes. We're taking snapshots, right? Mm-hmm. We're taking a snapshot of what it looks like to be a human being now, and those kind of start to telescope um, as we go on. So, um, uh, and I I don't quite just mean that, like you know, now when you're when you're 30, you're expected to be, uh, you know, at 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 um, whatever it is, Keegan's fourth order. You know, you're you're expected to be a sort of rational, um, mm-hmm. independent, uh, you know, hermetically separate self. Um, I, I mean that really, like, you know, our. I, I, I'm pointing really at like the di- the dynamism of human becoming, um, and 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 its own dynamic for overcoming itself and continually overcoming itself even given you know a limited a limited lifetime and limited bodies and all and all of these things that we that we work with that are that are um you know quote unquote constraints yeah it's a lot packed into that though too i don't even know i mean that's a that's a very different conversation but yeah that's that's my sense of it yeah yeah and that's where the work is huge you know i mean that's a whole um line of inquiry that is ongoing that is well informed and you know there are people who are doing really really top research in there so um yeah i think i think you picked a really really good topic to <laughs> professionalize your life around so yeah, this is actually just a really long marketing pitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I'd throw that in for you. I think we probably coming to the end. Yeah. Um, because everything else I want to talk about are just like all these. Now the diamond has five million facets, and yeah. Um, well, there's a you know there's a really interesting thing that I think. Um, you know, we've been talking about fullness a lot, and and yet, um, and yet, there's 
you know, and and then and then fullness is sort of like that 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 constantly reaching out to everything. There, everything has a thousand different spurts, and 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 it's very easy to get caught up in all of that and dragged along with that. And yet, um, you know, I think to really engage with this, um, it also takes an anchoring in uh, emptiness, and the emptiness sees the emptiness of all those facets of the diamond, and it's able to see the diamond all at one time. So rather than being like all these faces are coming up constantly. I want to talk about this face and this face and this face. There is a sense of, you know, what is what is the thread? What is the thread of this moment? What is the most what is the most skillful thing that I can do as a human being at this moment in time, given this gigantic diamond that I can't possibly presence in its entirety right, right. now? Um, and I just I just wanted to presence that too because so much of our conversation has been about that beautiful and wonderful fullness, and so much of my experience is about that too, and yet. As I as I'm talking with you, what I'm aware of is that is that you know awareness as as space, and that's as I, I say this in a in a side note somewhere. I think a footnote in my appendix, but that that's a metaphor too. Awareness is not space, right? But there's this aspect of awareness that's both um, infinitely expansive and yet completely and absolutely here and present, and and uh, um, just for just for the sake of having said it, I want to make sure that that's presenced as well, because I think that that's equally as important as the fact that it's that everything is here at once. It's like fireworks, but the fireworks, you know, fireworks need the night sky. Without the night sky, you can't see fireworks. So. Yeah, and I think of it as cascade, but it's not like, it's like, a, like it's cascade, just yeah. energy and enthusiasm, but the whole is not absent because you haven't articulated right. the parts yeah. Yeah. the parts are are sitting out they're they're like the fireworks is good the parts are out there being generated by the whole right yeah. so it's not like you're chasing something the 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 whole is is the explosion of the yeah. of the enthusiastic absolutely you know yeah That's so the, that- that, that urge too is that this is how the whole expresses itself in this moment as this part as this moment or what have you. Yeah. And, um, I think I I, uh, I spent some time this summer in Switzerland with a group um, that used to be called the Global Cooperative Forum that grew out of Adi Da's work and and um, but they're they're coming at this from a slightly different direction but there are a lot of there's a lot of uh, you know there's a lot of resonance with the work that I feel like. We're talking about today, and and one of the things that I heard when I was there, there I don't remember who said it, but it was like, you know, for a truly genuine world governance, right? For a truly genuinely global um, organization, you can't have representatives that are that whose mission is to just represent whoever wherever they're coming from. If you're from the United States and you're in this, you know organization to say you cannot be representing the United States you have to be representing the whole and um, I thought that was that was such a beautiful insight for and, and a different such a difference from the way that we do you know representative democracy nowadays but you're not just you know we are we are waking up together and individually we are waking up to being these these nodes of consciousness growing out of the universe and and constantly growing and constantly growing and constantly growing out of the universe and 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 yet we're not separate from all of that we are we are that that movement to um we are that movement to emerge from the whole every moment we're doing that we're doing that we're doing that and uh um i think that's a real that for me has been you know, maybe the thing that has most changed my like day to day experience that I've experienced within these spaces. Like when you're you know, um I said I think it's in one of the yeah, it's in the appendix um that talks about the experience that my wife and I had. But you know, when you're you are subjectivity and the bounds between your subjectivity and somebody else's subjectivity, not not your experience. Right? Because right. our experiences are different. But the bounds between your subjectivity and my subjectivity are not to be found. <laughs> Go and look for them, and you're not going to find them anywhere. And and you you know you one I anybody I think that's happening is in and in, in, in these groups what's happening is we're just we're waking up just as subjectivity which yeah. which, which holds everything within itself and it, and is everything at the same time. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I think that's true for not only subjectivity, but for, uh, physical. I mean, you start looking at where do you stop physically yeah. and where does something begin. Yeah. And so there's extension in space in all those levels, subjective, intersubjective, physical. But then there's also the time. There's yeah. no, there's no, you can't find the origin, you know, and so when you truly, I mean, I wrote this in my paper, when you truly start to participate, you get in this very white head in, you get, you get extended in space and time through yeah. all those levels. Yeah. And, and that, you know, talk about relational dynamics magnifying. I mean, this is, this is, this is creativity itself or, yeah. yeah. And that's, I think, for me, where the trust comes from. It's like, in, there's no doubt that we're coming from the same hall. I, I, and it's kind of like if we just didn't obstruct it, it would be, it would be okay. You know, I, I know that's, that's not, that's a simplification, but that is the, the axiom, right, of this work, that no matter how many diversions, diverticulations, pluralism, even if we have incommensurable beliefs, none of that can change this fundamental axiom of this completely shared history and completely seamless extension. Yeah. And yeah. it's worth the price of admission. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fantastic ride, kids. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, it, it's so, it's funny because even the word, that word trust, like, trust has, trust has sort of in it this assumption of this other agent, you know, like this powerful agent, this other agent that can do something to me that I don't want to have happen, you know, and um, obviously as a body, as a body mind, that's true in a way, like as a body mind, I, I trust or, or don't trust the external world. And yet that, 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 it's not even like there's no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm riffing off of your, uh, yeah, yeah. There's no doubt. There's no doubt that we're coming out of the same hole. But there's also, but it's also too. It's like it's too obvious to mention that sense of trust is not even. It's 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 not implicit. It's not like hidden by any means. Yeah. But it's so out there as to not even need mentioning. It's not a golden or what do we say? It's not a pink elephant. You know, it's not a it's not a five hundred pound girl. It's a golden elephant. It's it's yeah. it's it's it's. it's it's there. It's the medium through which we're interacting. Is that trust? Yeah. Is that lack of, or that not lack of trust, but that that dissolution of the of the need for trust, the dissolution of there being this this you know important difference between trust and between and between doubt. Yeah, and it, then we have this extraordinary phenomenon, right? Because if we were really coming only from that place of trust, we wouldn't have a word for it. Right? Because we would be that. And you can't have a word for what you be. <laughs> yeah. But we also have what the Buddhists call is a path, right? So we're born in the middle. We're born yeah. from the trust, but we are not that until then in our day and age we get post formal and we start to deconstruct why we're not trust to find who we really are. And this is also right, so if we want to be inclusive this is the other side, I think, of what you're trying to say about trust. You know, that, 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 that there's that and yeah. there's the dynamic. Trust is not just something, is not just emptiness. It's, it's that and the dynamic, dynamism yeah. of making itself known. Yeah. And. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's something very important about finding that. And I, I think the way that I'm you know, coding or cognizing what you're saying is that there's, there, and which I completely agree with you, I don't yeah, mean yeah. to suggest that that's just, it's just that action, but that 
that's that's sort of an en one end of this. Um, and spectrum's not exactly technically right, I think, but just for the idea, it works fine. But there's the yeah. spectrum of trusting that you know, in in the in the act of being with one another consciously and investigating and in, in inquiring and and um, um, intentionally, um, you know, trust becomes. Trust becomes greater and greater and greater. You have greater and greater and greater opportunities to be trust and to share trust and to give trust. And then, you know, as that comes out and out and iterates and iterates and iterates, then at a certain point, you know, oh, <laughs> there's, it's not trust anymore. It's just me. <laughs> it's just being. Um, I, I don't think, I, I, that's a state experience. For sure. No, I know. I hear you. But yeah, I mean that's my that is that's my experience and the way that I understand it at the least. Yeah, I don't think that we ha are articulating different perspectives. We're just yeah. keep nuancing it. And yeah, no, I hear you. That's why I said it's worth the price of admission because you're born into this conditioned experience and you're small and helpless, and then you have to. <laughs> Well, and you need to, I mean, I, I, one of the beautiful, you know, I have a daughter now, and as you mentioned earlier, and she's six, she's not quite six weeks old, and, you know, no matter how good of a job my wife and I do in raising her, she's going to, she's going to be conditioned. That's natural. It's normal. And it's a good thing. Yeah. And, and that ties into what you were saying before. Like, we, we tend to think of our conditions or our pain or our vulnerabilities or our issues as being the thing that's getting us in the way from this other thing that we want. Yeah. And that's that, I think, you know, in, in the terms that um, that's, that's an egoic thing. That's a, that's a rational thing. Right. That's a linear time thing. That's a projection of, you know, that's a projection of everything good out into the future. And, 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 and that's a good thing. There's no problem with that. That's, that's the, that's the fuel that we use to develop. It's the fuel that we use to grow. And, and it can be a bad thing. I mean, you know, if, if I, I don't do this, but you know, if I went downstairs and, and eat my daughter senseless or something terrible like that, right. I, I would never do that. But if I did, you know, she might not have the capabilities to get over that ever. Right. right, and, right. And that's, we're, we're, that's right. a totally different question. But, but in the normal course of your development, as you grow up as a person, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be a person in a way that is going to obstruct half of the universe. And then the second half of the story is, you know, how do you recognize that you did that and then un undo that, but in a way that isn't, you know, not, not going backwards, but in a way that's like, oh, I'm now home, but it's also the first time that I've been here. I'm home, but I'm different. I'm yeah. home, but I have these capacities that I didn't have when I was not doing this or when I was born. And, and I look at it as a generative thing, you know, there, there is... I call it the Plato theory of cosmology. <laughs> so, the, it's the way that complex. The, for me, the reason why complexity grows with uniqueness and not the other way around is because of levels, layers of generative conditioning. So I think of like you know what the Plato fun factory is. Like you put the Play-Doh in the thing and you squish it Play -Doh. down. Play-Doh, not Play-Doh. No, Play-Doh. <laughs> you know that thing? You put the Play-Doh in and you squish it down and it comes out the hole, right? Yeah. So if I put yeah. a star there, it yeah. comes out as a star. That's a condition. But if I put a star and a, and a right. something else, it'll come out with two conditions. And if I keep yeah. adding conditions, then the thing grows with complexity and uniqueness at the same yeah. time, right? Yeah, totally, so, totally, totally. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, so what you're saying is that, um, and I think it's sort of similar. I think, or I won't go in. Yeah, I mean, whoa, whoa. it's a simple model. Don't over. Don't you? No, no, no but it's, it's no, it's a good one though. It's it's it. You know, again, the recognition that again, it goes back to that, like. There isn't nothing that could possibly be coming up right now. Could, could, um, nothing that could possibly be coming up right now could negatively impact what is happening, unless it's reacted to, right? Like you're, you're, you're. So, so again, your conditioning, everything that you're bringing is 
crucially important. That's why we need everybody in this. That's why this is something that we need everybody to be doing in a very real way. Everybody has got to be getting together and talking with each other in this sort of way because we need everybody's unique conditioning because that unique conditioning brings a, a brings something to the table that nobody else possibly can. There's something that's really, you know, it's, not, it's, it's kind of trite. It's, 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 we say it, we've said it before a million times. That's why though, that's like the dynamic behind it. And it's real. It's, it's something that's actually, and very much true. And if you're, if you're, you know, if you're in a, if you're in a relationship with somebody, I think I have this, I think I have this in the, in the pieces is one of the things that I really love that has come out of this work for me. You know, if I need you to be different for me to be myself, then I'm, lying to myself or yeah. I'm lying to you, right? I'm not actually, I'm, 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 that's a, that, but again, if I'm doing that, that's good information. Yeah. That's something that I can, I was like, wow, wait a minute, stop for a second and look at that. Why is it that I think that? Why is it that I feel that right. way? If I'm able to, you know, if I'm able to metabolize that, it, it's, it's, I'm, I'm probably going to come out better. I'm going to come out different than I thought I was. Exactly. Be scary, but I'm going to come out in a way that I'm going to like, essentially. And, and, you know, well, Other people more too, probably. Your thesis was gave me one really significant insight, and in a and it was kind of a. Oh, a, a compliment, I guess, right? Yeah, that's a yeah, great. and it was no, it's definitely a compliment. In other context, that could be probably a put down. I think that's I think that is a great compliment. If if I gave you a a great insight, that's awesome. That's good news. No, let me tell you what it is because I just remembered it because of what you were saying, and and it was the context. Everything is the context and the setting, and I knew it was you. And I, anyways, so you start off by quoting Bashkar or quoting what he says often about trying to build the eudaimonistic society where the conditions yeah. for the flourishing of the one, right? Yeah. And so you weren't making the point, you were kind of starting off with his point. And then it was like, boom, I'm like, we're not building that. That's exactly yeah. how it works. Yeah, that's how it is. Like, yeah. that's, that's like, that's, that's the why. <laughs> yeah. And you know how these ins like you said insights are like it comes with a state experience so for our viewing audience it might seem very trivial but it it just like whoa and then the and the why behind that so and this is the this is that other this is sort of the third shadow topic right so we have we space then we have like what happens as humans start to develop into a place where they're no longer sourcing themselves from like personality motivations and they get together and practice that and then the third part is you know why why do we do why would we do that in the first place why isn't that just the way that we do things and yeah. and it's because you know when we when we when we what we take as real comes out of you know these conditionings that we have and it's very hard to do that nowadays and i don't know if this will ever not be the case but it's very hard to do that without um breaking the world up into these into these categories and into opposites and one of the ones that we do so uh, regularly that we don't notice it is is autonomy and community or or you know I and we or uh, agency <laughs> agency and community or what you know whatever it is I mean we have a million different words for basically the same thing and what this what what you come into contact with while you're doing this is that you know those um, those were it's not that they were never separate it's that yes there's there's this kind of autonomy and there's this kind of community and yeah you know in a way this way of being preferences autonomy and this way of being preferences community but as you develop you're developing into deeper expressions of autonomy and community no matter where you are the more autonomous that you are right. the more available you are to enter into community and so that that fundamental boundary line there isn't something that is describing territories that are separate you know forever they're not even really describing things that are necessarily you know these two polar dynamics that are always playing with each other there that that line is the activity of creating my agency within community and it's not in conflict and in fact right. that's what's in that that's what's in that bashkar quote in fact if i if i am creating the conditions for my own best, greatest, whatever, self-development, I am necessarily creating the conditions for everybody else's and vice versa. And right. if I'm doing one of those things, I'm also not doing the other one because that's the way it works. Those things that's are not the way separate. It, that's together. the way it that's works. It works. Yeah, and, and you know, we could segue now into, which is not really part of this conversation, but how 
our language, our dualistic and dialectical, our language doesn't help us, although you just did a really beautiful job. But yeah, I, I disagree with you, actually. I think I know, I mean, I know the point that you're going at, and I, 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 <laughs> I, think, I don't, it's in language, right? It's not like a, it's not a function of language or some essential thing about language. I think it's the way that we use language. I think it's the way that we're cultured to use language. But oh, it's no, a, I, I, I agree with you. That is a, is a, is a, you used the word poetry before. It's possible to do that in a way that is a, you know, you're, 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 you're poetically bringing right. the world and it's not in the language, but it's in the communication. It's in the transmission. What am I giving to you as I'm using language? Where is the language coming from? So I, I, I so yeah, and I'm sure you're saying the same point too. I just, you know, it makes it funner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think that that we don't have to belabor the point, but the, but the no the way we normally use language and we get distracted by the sense that these boundaries are rigid and our language can do that or we can use like you know what i'm saying there's a re yeah. there's an iterative aspect to that but um um yeah i think that that i mean i love the way you talked about you just you just what you just said was much more mature than the other ways people have talked about the tension or the dialectic between agency and communion and we space. What you just said was, was much more, in my opinion, mature way of, 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 of talking about that. It's not clear to me that people aren't saying or experiencing the same thing. It's just that, that your articulation of it, I think, for me anyways, captured more of the systemic and generative nature of that than the appositional or tensional nature yeah. of that. Yeah. Because these think, things are all generative. It, right, right, yeah. absolutely. I, and I think that has to do, you know, you said it's not exact, it's not so much maybe in the experience, but, you know, you're still, you're still interpreting your experience through you know, whatever structure it is that you're speaking yeah. through, like whatever yeah. your filtering is, you're still going to be speaking it that way. And I think, you know, part of it is is in continually being drawn back into this space where that was, you know, that's being shown as not just being the way that things are, right? right. And, and, and actually, you know what, I'm going to take a right turn here because that has something to do with what, with the question for service too, which is, um, um, you know, <laughs> I took a right turn into a brick wall. Oh my God! I just had this totally fully thorn formed like thought bubble, right, with like all of these different things going off of it, and I dropped it, and I don't know where I put it. Um, uh, what were we talking about? Bashkar. Uh, okay, so I said that. Okay, so I said these things are always generative, not. They're not necessarily, it's a very subtle thing. So when we talk about it as being intentional space, that's different than when we truly see that they're generative. Right. And, then, and then that's the last thing I said. Well, and, and then we're, and we're always, you know, and that's one of the things I think that, you know, every real, I won't say, I'm say it in a developmental way, but every realization that you have, which carries with it this notion that it's always been there too right it's it's something new and it's also always been there at least that's the experience of it um uh that 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 maybe i should <laughs> my baby <laughs> brain is catching up with me that's so funny i just see this <laughs> uh, generative so, oh oh that's there it is so so the 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 so yeah i mean what reality just does that right reality is generative in a way in which it couldn't not be and it couldn't ever not have been but in coming into contact with that like in actually realizing that in my experience as an agent as a being doing right um uh i have the ability to bring that about in a way that i may not have you know 10 20 years ago right yeah. or and, and and humanity at this point has the ability to at least start to experiment with this in a way that may not have been possible 20, 30, 50 years ago, centuries ago, whatever you want to say. But reality was still generative then. It was still yes. happening. And it was still happening in a way in which it wasn't like you're walking around along train tracks, but in a way in which, you know, I love this phrase. This is a uh, a, um, a phrase from, <laughs> again, 
um, one of my favorite poems, whose name I can't remember. He's an early 20th century poet from America. He lived in Hartford. He was an insurance agent. Uh, oh. Yes. Uh, um. Wallace Stevens. Wallace, Wallace Stevens. Stevens. Wallace Stevens has this phrase, which is like, I... I, I, you know, I'm singing the world into existence. It's not yeah. para- to paraphrase, but I'm singing the world into existence. And yeah. that's always been the way that it, it has been, even though we haven't realized it. But we're, we're constantly creating the world that we are then walking in. And, and even to say then is not really accurate because it's not linear in that sense. But right, I'm, I'm right. bringing about a world as my activity of being in the world. And, and, um and that's and that's and that's where that's where the mathematics change. That's where we go from be doing algebra to doing calculus. You know, yeah. in the, a way of saying it. Calculus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you looking at when you're looking off to the side? Oh, just out the window at the trees being yeah. trees. Um, there's just kind of nothing in my mind right now, so I was just just being with that. Letting it come, yeah. Hmm. I'm wondering where, you know, we sort of set out with this intention to have, um, you know, I think maybe it speaks to, <laughs> just start four <laughs> sentences without finishing any of them. Um, <laughs> You know, we sort of started this call with the intention to um, give people who are listening a sort of taste of our own process of, of, you know, iterating with each other and not just about something that we're looking about, but actually, you know, really engaging with another being. What is it like to do that? And uh, um, so, you know, I'm just, I'm wondering, and I think one of the interesting things, so my, my response to that question of, like, how have we done in that? Um, so I have, like, sort of two, there are two points that come up for me. One is that I think somebody watching this probably, um, unless they're really tuned in with us, it, it, or, or I won't say it that way, but it could very easily look like you and I are just having a, a normal conversation between two people who happen to know each other a little bit and are, and are sort of poking at each other in an interpersonal way slightly. Um, and yet, for me, I'm very aware of I'm very aware of interacting with you in this um, in this in this way. But the focus of our topic has still been we space practices and not what's going on between the two of us, right? So that makes it, so there's, there's a lot of interesting things going on here. So I feel very much in this relational space with you, but we're not putting attention on that relational space as it exists between the two of us, which makes it a little bit different. Uh, and yet that has been a very, you know, it's, it's been a strong experience for me as I'm here with you. I'm, I'm very conscious of being with you right now and, and have been the whole time that we've been um, talking. And yet I think from the outside that probably um, you know, it's easy for it not to look that way, and I think that 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 speaks to you know these are participatory spaces. You 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 really need to be, and of course, I could totally be projecting that on people. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what you're thinking if you're watching this because I'm not you right now doing that. But um, as as I as I feel into that, it's is it brings up that sense that you know you have to you have to engage with it. You can't you can't you you can also study it. But if you're right. studying it, you better engage with it, right? You better actually be doing it in yeah. your relationships from moment to moment. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I mean, the word that came up for me is I feel I felt and feel accompanied, 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 yeah. you know, yeah. like like through all of that and... Um, And really, it's kind of like um, w- the way we set off and having that feeling of fullness, and then it just it's just like watching it show up yeah. through this, and 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 I think that's an important aspect of the work because we practice the work itself as an object to to create capacity, but then it be 
as it becomes tacit knowledge, it 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 you you play in that capacity. That's yeah. how I feel with you, you know. And 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 like we started off by saying, the first time we met each other, this kind of natural synergy. Um, you make it easy, for, you know. So oh. <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, not to get hung up on what it looks like. I want, I want to stop you for a second and actually, what's because I, I that's um, I was very affected by that when you just said that. That was really I felt I felt very touched by that. I'm I'm I am um, you just that 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 totally lit me <laughs> up. I'm, I'm appreciate the I appreciate that um, that compliment. Yeah, because the observation. What happened was when I was talking about that. I went back to that first, I could see us on the porch there, but I could feel that's you and that, I could feel you, you know, and I could feel what that was like, like, yeah, so, and then that's what came out of my mouth, you know, you make it easy, because that was what I was, yeah, I went there, and you seemed, you know, you were right there, and like, so, so thank you, this has been great you know <laughs> yeah this is one of the fun ones huh we could uh, gone on for a, who knows when it actually if we were together like you know you never know when it no yeah it's a long game <laughs> it's a long game um yeah thank you very much i mean thank yeah. you for, thank you for i mean i just feel i you know i, I actually have felt very supported in um you know, putting my thesis out there because you've sort of been there with it, like literally every step of the way. Like, I don't do anything. You're almost invariably the first person that notices and that reads it and that looks at it and starts to. Um, uh, and you know, I think I, I, um, I definitely, you know, I, I have an audience in writing my paper, and that audience is composed of a lot of different people of course but def you were clearly one of the people that was sitting there as I was writing a paper and sort of influencing me yeah. as I'm going along with it so I'm, I'm really uh, you know I'm, I'm um, both uh, yeah no I'm just grateful actually and happy yeah, and, um, and <laughs> yeah. alright well you and have a great uh, evening I guess it's late there but uh, it's I gotta start cooking dinner for my family actually awesome uh, I've got to start eating dinner with my family. Actually, is what I should be doing. Um, but yeah, thank you, and I hope you know. I hope that this. Um, I hope that this. I hope that this is helpful. That it isn't. That it gives people an idea of yeah. what is going on and what some of the exciting and uh, emerging things are that are happening. And, and yeah. Yeah. Great I work. The symposium as well. I hope that it helps. Uh, you know, get the word out about the symposium, which yeah. is. Uh, yeah. We'll talk again, if not before. Certainly, we'll touch base and what the symposium was like. Yes, for sure, totally. Love to your family. Oh. Yeah, Great. thank you. Bye-bye.